Hi everyone, I'm Maggie from The Little Reseller. Today's video is about sending in a shipment to Amazon FBA. If that's not something you're really interested in, then you might prefer one of these charity shop sort of haul videos. But if you're new to Amazon or thinking about getting started, then you should find it really helpful. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll try and help. Uh, but yeah, enjoy. Step one. Make a list of everything you're sending in this shipment. Make a total of the products and items in the shipment. If anything is in the beauty or grocery category, make a note of the expiry date now. Step 2. We are now going to add the products to your inventory. Find the barcode. From the home screen, click Add Product, then click the camera. Scan the barcode. Make sure the item it finds is your item, then click it. Click List. Enter your selling price. Enter the condition of the item. Enter the country of origin of the product. Check the item is being fulfilled by Amazon, then click Save and Finish. Step 3. All of your products that are going in this shipment should now be in your Manage Inventory page. Click on all of the products that you are sending in this shipment. Click on Action on the number selected and then Send Replenish Inventory. Check the correct number of items are there and then click Yes Continue. If this next page all looks correct, click Continue to Shipping Plan. You will then need to enter the quantity of each product you are sending. Check your total, matches the list you made earlier, then click continue. You can then add any prep guidance for each item. Then click if you or Amazon will do this prep. Then click continue. Unless you are commingling your products at Amazon, on the labelling page, make sure you click that you want labels for all products. Click Print Labels for this page, which will download them. Then click Continue. When your shipment has been given its destination warehouse, click Approve Shipment. Step 4. You should have all of your barcode labels printed now. Click on Inventory, then Manage FBA Shipments. Then click on Work on Shipment. Before going on to the next step, I would now label your items with their barcode labels, covering the barcodes which are already on the products. If you find that some of your items are too small for your labels, cover the barcodes with a blank piece of label, then polybag the item and put your label onto that. Pack everything into boxes and write on your boxes box 1, box 2, etc. Then write next to your original list what is in each box. I managed to pack all of my items in one box under 15 kilograms in weight, so we'll only have to click everything in one box. But if I was sending in more than one box, I would click more than one SKU per box, enter how many boxes, click confirm. I would then input which items were in which box number. This is also where you will need to input those expiry dates. Enter the box weights and dimensions, then click Confirm. You should have already signed up to the UPS Partner Program through Amazon. Click Calculate, click that you agree with Amazon's T's and C's, then accept the charges. Click to print your box labels and follow the instructions on how to attach your labels to your boxes. Then click to complete the shipment. You will now need to go to the UPS website and book your box collection. Enter that tracking number when prompted and there will be no extra charges on the UPS website. 
Make sure you add some void fill paper to your parcel so things don't move about and so when Amazon cut it open they won't damage your items. Well done for making it to the end of the video. Um, if you'd like to see anything else Amazon related talked about then let me know and I'll try and sort that out. Uh, if you could like this video that would really help and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with other videos I put on. Okay, see you soon.